Apple to return $32.5 million to parents affected by in-app purchases. Google's mobile Chrome browser now compresses data for faster surfing and get ready for the black phone, both you and the NSA. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, after a ton of coffee and a lot of issues, let's just say that I'm starting to become awake. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some official news as Apple, yes, has to return $32.5 million to a lot of parents that were affected by in-app purchases. And if you remember back in the day, it was really easy for anybody to just buy anything from the App Store without the user's consent or the person owning the credit card. So all these parents are now getting a refund for their money, but also Apple now has to figure out how to get the consent of parents whenever they give their children phones or tablets that it could obviously have in-app purchases against. So let's see how Apple figures that one out. Another cool news, Google's mobile Chrome browser is getting actually more efficient. The company has now announced that they are actually going to be using servers to compress data in order for you to save data and at the same time get faster browsing. And if this doesn't ring a bell, that's the way Opera Mobile's mobile browser used to work, which is great that we get this on Google Chrome. I just don't know if this is going to work on iOS. I do know that this is going to work on Android. So stay tuned. Obviously, whatever you do on incognito mode or whatever you do on private private websites is not going to require the service and obviously load a little slower so stay tuned for that. Now let's talk about HP and no I didn't get the company name wrong we haven't heard about HP and mobile in a long time aside from some slight tablets but now we're getting a voice tab 6 and a voice tab 7 and these are pretty much between tablets and tablets but they do have voice capabilities so this pretty much marks the company's comeback into mobile phones. Let's just see how good these products are. We don't get any dates, any markets, any specifics. Stay tuned for MWC, we'll probably get some stuff there. Now let's talk about Motorola. I know a lot of you have fallen in love with the Moto X and as Dennis Woodside, the company CEO, has just confirmed, the company's not stopping there. They're also working on a tablet and Moto Maker will work for this tablet. So you can get a customized tablet. The question is, what exactly does Motorola plan to bring to this tablet to make it unique and great in the hand and functional, just like we found the Moto X? And hopefully they also bring a better camera, even though on tablets, that's really not the deal. And finally, for the hot news of the day, let's talk about the Black phone and yes there is this new phone out there that's focused on security though all we get is really an image of the phone and we don't really see a product and the whole point is that this is a joint venture between geek phone and also silent circle and the idea is to bring you stock android with an extra layer of encryption that's specially designed by this company and apparently this will be better than whatever the nsa can hack or so they say. Obviously, we don't get any confirmation. It's just interesting that they're bringing us a phone and not actually selling us the layer for us to use on our current phones. But anyways, that leads us to the question of the day. How important is security for you on your phone? Because in my particular case, I don't know if I would actually pay for a phone just because of its added security, but I do know that since I handle so much sensitive data on my phone, I do prefer to have that extra layer of security. Again, I don't understand whether or not just selling the layer, but leave us a comment down below. What do you think? And friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.